Swedish company Candela leads the world in the development and distribution of electric foiling vessels. The boat featured here is the latest version of the C8 design, the first in New Zealand for an Auckland owner who intends to commute between homes on Auckland's North Shore and Rakino Island. Candela has sold over 100 C8s around the world. This Candela C8 was displayed on its impressive braked alloy trailer at the recent Auckland Boat Show. Towing weight is just 2,705 kgs dry. The C8 is available in three configurations, day cruiser, T-top and hardtop, as reviewed. It's a major upgrade on the previous C7 model with improved software and hardware, a completely new hull design and a much quieter, more efficient twin motor 400 volt propulsion system. The foil design is also new. The new model benefits from improved hydrodynamic qualities compared to the previous model. It weighs just 1850 kgs of which 500 kgs is an upgraded Polestar lithium ion battery with a capacity of 69 kilowatt hours. The hull is constructed entirely from carbon fibre, finished in two pot epoxy paint rather than gel coat to save weight and to provide UV protection. Payload is 640 kgs or 6 to 8 passengers. At displacement speeds the C8 rides on its stepped hull like a normal boat, but with the foils down it lifts off the water at around 15 knots, riding on a single full beam transverse sea foil amidships and a steerable winged T-foil aft, powered by twin water-cooled electric motors and a streamlined housing between the wings. Inside the boat it's all minimalist painted surfaces with black carbon accents, a black cabin top and a huge canvas sunroof that's manually operated. Everything, including the seat cushions, is lightweight. Molded steps provide access through the windscreen to the foredeck. Somewhat oddly, there's only a single bow rail and no fair lead. The steps hinge up to reveal a good sized forward cabin, which can be configured for sleeping or sitting. The Candela's design ethos is driven by the need to keep weight down to deliver the performance and range customers reasonably expect. So, if you like luxury and lots of toys, the C8 is probably not for you. If, on the other hand, you appreciate groundbreaking technology, the Candela C8 has plenty to offer. It's what goes on behind the scenes that's so impressive. Operating the vessel is easy because the onboard computer takes care of pretty much everything. The software is quite a step up from before, as is the system's ability to make minute changes to the foil's attitude and pitch up to 50 times a second. The foils are now controlled electrically rather than hydraulically, as was the case with the earlier Candela models, making them much more responsive. An array of radar sensors monitors the height above the water in foiling flight, while the flight controller uses actuators to maintain stability and elevation, making constant adjustments to the foiling surface's angle of attack, controlling pitch, roll and height. The vessel also utilises GPS, gyroscopes and accelerometers to monitor its position relative to the environment. Optimum flight height is about a metre above the waves and the user interface is much improved while automotive style buttons on the steering wheel give quick access to many operational functions and display modes. The C8's effective range on a full charge is around 50 nautical miles or 2.5 hours run time at 20 knots which is pretty decent. A limp home mode gives 3 nautical miles at 4 knots. DC charging takes between 1 and 3 hours it's quick to 80% but the last 20% takes longer, or overnight on a conventional AC charger. Our impression of the Candela C8 underway is one of smoothness. Waves become irrelevant because you're flying above them and there is almost no wake. With the electric motors underwater it's quiet too, though there is the constant oral feedback from the foil actuators. 
but compared to a conventional ice runabout, conversation on board is easy. The CH is efficient too, consuming just one kilowatt hour per nautical mile at 20 knots cruise speed. And travelling above the water surface at 20 plus knots in near silence, the true speed is deceiving. Objects and other boats come up quickly, so one needs to plan ahead. Top speed is 27 knots. The boat turns smoothly when foiling, banking gently under the control of the CPU, but the turn radius is relatively wide. Any sudden changes in direction cause the vessel to automatically abort foiling flight, which also occurs if the sea state exceeds performance parameters. However they are induced, touchdowns are controlled. Reese demonstrated this by performing fast and slow stops. Fast makes a little more noise as the boat settles abruptly by the stern, while easing the throttle back results in the C8 gracefully kissing the water as it transitions to displacement operation. The Candela C8 is clearly a much more mature and technologically advanced model than its predecessor. It's also more practical and arguably better looking. As Candela founder and CEO Gustav Hasselskog explained, Candela has pivoted from a tech company that had decided to build boats to a boat company that employs the latest foiling and electric propulsion technology. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.